How to use split tunneling with WireGuard VPN. Are you curious about how to use split tunneling with WireGuard VPN? You're in the right spot. Let's break it down step by step. Split tunneling allows you to choose which internet traffic goes through the VPN and which does not. This is great for keeping access to local devices while still protecting sensitive online activities. To start, you need to understand the basic concept. Split tunneling works by defining specific internet protocol addresses or subnets that will use the VPN. WireGuard uses a setting called AllowDips in its configuration files to manage this. By default, AllowDips is set to 0.0.0.0/0, which means all traffic goes through the VPN. To enable split tunneling, you will need to adjust this setting. Now, let's get into the configuration steps. First, you will need to edit the WireGuard configuration file. This file is often named WG0. Conf and can be opened in a simple text editor. Next, look for the section labeled peer. Here, you will replace allowedips equals 0.0.0.0 slash .0, .0, 0 with specific IP ranges or domains that you want to route through the VPN. For example, if you want to route only local area network traffic, you would use allowedips equals 190 to 0 .168.1.0 slash 24. If you want to exclude certain traffic, like streaming services, you will need to omit their IP ranges from AllowedIPs. You can use tools like NSLOOKUP to find the IP addresses of those domains. After making your changes, save the file and restart WireGuard to apply the updates. When using mobile or desktop apps, some WireGuard applications allow you to edit AllowedIPs directly in their graphical user interface. Look for fields labeled Allowed IPS under the peer settings. If you are using third-party tools like Warp or Tailscale, they may handle split tunneling differently, often with simple toggle switches for routing options. For practical applications, split tunneling can be very useful. If you want to stream content, you can exclude the IPS of streaming services to avoid geoblocks while keeping your other traffic secure. Gamers can route their game traffic directly to reduce latency while using the VPN for voice chat or downloads. If you have network-attached storage devices or smart home systems, you can maintain access to them on your local area network without exposing them to the VPN. Keep in mind, there are some limitations. IP addresses for services like Netflix can change frequently, which means you may need to update your configuration often. Not all WireGuard-based applications expose the AllowedIP settings, which can limit your options. WireGuard's split tunneling feature is flexible and can be tailored to your needs. By choosing applications that support the AllowedIP setting, you can simplify the process and make the most of your VPN experience.